Okay, so I'm going to take a short tour of this beehive. We're going to look for the queen and see what's inside the colony. And we'll certainly see a lot of bees. And if we're lucky, we'll see the queen and some of the developing babies. I don't see the queen yet, but I do see two interesting things. One is a lot of pollen that this beehive has taken in. So they're collecting pollen from late season plants, maybe goldenrod that's active right now, and also the wildflowers in, in the area. And on this side, those uh, lighter brown cappings, those are new developing bees, worker bees that are just finishing their development. They're gonna fly out and become the workforce and ideally the workforce that's going to survive the winter for this colony. So this colony has to build up fresh workers, um, healthy ones that are going to survive for many months over winter before the next uh, batch of egg laying takes place in the spring. Okay, so we're in luck. We have the queen bee here. Um, she is traveling right there, you can see her. So she's a bit bigger than the workers. Her nice golden end part of her body is packed with eggs. So that's, that's the action part for the queen. She will egg, lay hundreds of eggs a day. And that's essential, of course. She's the only one providing for the future in that sense of the colony at this point. So she's moving around there still. And again, all of these female workers are her progeny. She's laid the eggs for all of those baby bees. There is actually one male bee right here uh, next to her um, produced by this colony, but 99.9% but .9 of the colony members are female and they're female workers. And so she's done all that work. She's produced eggs and uh, everyone else 
feeds them to help them grow up, but she's essential. So beekeepers really, really keep an eye on her because if they lose a queen and the colony doesn't replace her, or if they stress the queen out, whether it's chemicals or nutrition or disease, uh, and she's lost, the whole ship goes down. The entire colony can collapse. Okay, so that's a quick tour of a beehive. Thank you very much for the great questions, and I think we'll continue to answer more questions as we go along here, and thanks for your interest in honeybees. <laughs>